Okay, next uh, we'll do the second experiment that is Boolean operation. In the Boolean, we have to implement the logical AND operation, OR operation, XOR operation, NOT operation, and NAND operation using LabVIEW. So, double click on LabVIEW tool, then create project, then blank VI, finish. So, press Ctrl T. Then to implement Boolean, so right click. Now, instead of uh, numeric, we have to go for second block that is Boolean. So, in the Boolean, you click the push button. So, I can rename it as A, input A. One more time, right click, Boolean, push button. So, input B, two inputs and uh, Boolean. Actually, the blocks are coming actually in green color. Now, two inputs are there. Next, uh, we need outputs to indicate a logical output. So, we can use LED as our output device. So, LED, uh, if it is zero, logic zero, LED is off. If logic one means it is on. So, right click Boolean. To select round LED, rename it as AND gate. Next, right click Boolean. Next, R gate output. So, next is NOT gate. Next is XOR gate. And last one is NAND gate. So these are the experiments. Uh, I think uh, AND gate, OR gate, XOR, NOT, NAND. So three basic gates AND, OR and NOT along with that uh, XOR and NAND. If you want you can do NOR also, XNOR also. Okay. So next, uh, we need to connect uh, AND gates. So in the go to block diagram panel, right side block here, right click here, go to Boolean, select AND, right click Boolean or right click Boolean not right click then boolean xr right click boolean then last one is nand if you want you can add uh, two more gates okay like this boolean here nar is there exclusive nar is there so if you want you can uh, create uh, two more leds and uh, you can connect here so now here also you need you can if you if you go to this and block okay uh, you can see the label also right click visible items label okay if you want you can see the label also which gate is that visible item label right click visible item label so if you go to this and so two in left side we have two buttons and the right side only one. So first input of all I'll connect to input A. Not gate is having only one input. Either you can see not of A or not of input. I connected first inputs of all and are not exclusive and are no can place like this.
similarly second input of and gate right click come down again click and go left second input of and is connected to the input b similarly second input of r you connect to this gate not is having only one input so there is no second input exclusive r click here then go up second input of and also now all are connected outputs of and gate should be connected to and gate r gate output should be connected to r not exclusive or and And now we can verify the output. Make sure everything is over. If you want, you can save it as save the file as boolean. So now I run this. First time, if you run, you can see A and B inputs are 0, 0. So, and get output is, okay, I'll show the, root table of and uh, gates, different gates. So, this is a truth table, and gate is this, and gate output is, 1 when both inputs are 1 1 if inputs are 0 0 output is 0 uh, it is actually and gate is multiplication so 0 into 0 is 0 0 into 1 is 0 1 into 0 is 0 1 and 1 is 1 so and means the expression for and gate output is a into b if any one of the input is 0 output is 0 and uh, and is not of and so uh, 0 into 0 is 0, not of 0 is 1. So, this is a not, not is having only one input. Whatever input you give, it is a complement of that. If you give 0, invert of 0 is 1. If you give 1, invert is 0. So, it is called as not is also called as inverter. So, it is not of the input. So, input any logic you give, it will be the not of that input logic. Similarly, R is expression is A or B, that is A plus B. It is going to perform addition. So uh, 0 plus 0 is 0, 0 plus 1 is 1, 1 plus 0 is 1. So is 1 is it means actually true. Logic true, 0 means false. So true plus true is true only. Not 1 plus 1 is 0 carry 1. It is not a addition. It is actually uh, logics. True plus true is true. So output of R gate is 1. If any one of the input is true, that means 1. Output is 1. If uh, both inputs are false, output is false. Okay. If any one of the input is 1, minimum one input is 1 means output is 1. So this is X, uh, an R and XR operation is exclusive R. In the exclusive R, uh, it is expression is A B bar plus A bar B. A mod some B means A B bar plus a bar b so here the inputs are different then only output is one see here inputs are same zero zero so output is zero one one inputs are one 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 means inputs are same output is zero so that's why uh, if inputs are same output is zero if the inputs are different a different means b is zero a is one here a b is one a is zero so inputs are different so output is one one so let us verify that truth table uh, here. If uh, inputs are 0, 0, and get output is 0. Now, if I want to continuous run, so if I click this and again run, we will going to change, change the different uh, outputs. So click and run continuously. For both inputs are 0 and output is 0, not of A. See, not of 
a a is 0 means not of 0 means a uh, not of 0 is 1 is coming 1 means uh, this coming as green color so highlight of green is actually 1 if it is coming dark means 0 exclusive are both inputs are same so output is 0 nand nand is not of and and is 0 so nand is 1 so, so now change the value of a to 1 if i click here it is changed to 1 now i also 1 into 0 is 0 1 plus 0 is 1 not of 1 not input is connected to the a so a is 1 so not of 1 is 0 inputs are different a is 1 b is 0 so output is 1 for xr gate nand nand is not of and and is coming 0 so nand is 1 so similarly you can change the different values and you can verify the truth table of all the gates so this is the realization of boolean gates using lab view